Hi guys, um, I'm getting ready to go on a journey, and my journey might be a little different than what I've seen on YouTube, because I've been looking to see if anyone else has, you know, been trying to go on this journey, and this is, um, I'm going to let my gray grow. Um, basically I am gray all in the front and I've been dyeing my hair for about 30 years. First it started off just dyeing it to change the color, but I guess, um, maybe around 23 I saw my first gray hair, but it was just a little wiggly thing that was just had a mind of its own and I left it there because I always heard if you pull it out you may get more but I think that's an old wise tale but anyway I was dyeing my hair I go to my hairdresser and she would dye it and I was also getting my hair permed relaxed and I it was like Russian, Russian roulette. Sometimes my hair fall out. Sometimes it grow. You know how that went. But I've had a perm since I was 18. And I've been dyeing my hair since I was about 23. So, um, I guess one time I asked my hairdresser when I was about 30, I said, well, I'm only gray in the front. And something we were talking and she says oh no honey um it's all back here too and i'm like what oh wow so ever since then i've been dyeing my hair right now i have like a black rinse in august of 2009 i chopped all my hair off because my hair had started breaking off really bad with my perm and I was dyeing my hair burgundy at the time and so all of that just all that stress my hair just fell well basically broke off it was just really bad I had grew it long but then it had started just breaking off in different parts it looked really ugly so what I did I first I cut a little bit off tried to save it still broke off cut a little bit more and then finally, August, the end of August 2009, I cut it all off. And so I started growing my hair out natural. It was so much easier. And there's so many different products out. And I was looking at YouTube and getting all these ideas. But the one thing I should have done that I didn't, I still dyed my hair. And I don't know why. It was just like automatic. What I did, I didn't have to go to the shop no more. Saved about $200 a month. But I had to buy my shampoo, my conditioner, my leave-in conditioner, and my hair dye. So now I'm up to dyeing my hair every three weeks. And it's, it's such a pain. I mean, it's a mess and it's a pain. So... I've seen so many people now with all this pretty silver, white, gray hair, and they really don't look that much older. Matter of fact, they don't look older at all. So, I'm going to do this. And if there's anybody out there with any ideas on how to do this without having to do another big chop, because I don't want to cut my hair again. So, um, I looked on the internet, I looked on YouTube. I get no information, but I notice everyone is asking the same question. How can I let my hair grow out, my gray grow out, without chopping off all of my hair? And I see they were giving the same two answers. Either you can go to the shop and get your hair low lighted, and they'll blend in the gray so it won't look so funny growing out, or chop it off and that's easy. I don't want to chop it off. I don't want to go to the shop. So I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do this on my own. And right now, if you can see, I have about three-fourths of gray. Look at that. I wore my hair in a ponytail the other day. My All I kept thinking is skunk. It was white and then black. 
and it's just all I saw was this white stripe. It was so funny. So I also noticed someone had said, wear your hair messy so you can't see it. So like right now, you can't really see much of it. It's there. And since this is a rinse on my hair, it's a black, midnight black. It may not wash out. So I'm going to do this anyway. I'm really going to try not to have to cut my hair. Because it took me 20 months to grow my hair out. And now it's in such good condition. There's no perm, nothing. It's just natural. So I want to make my life uh, stress-free. I have so many hours now on Saturday. I don't have to go to the shop for four or five, six hours. And now I don't want to have to dye my hair every three weeks. Yeah, every three weeks. Okay, so anybody out there that's trying to do the same thing, please let me know. Subscribe. Give me some information. Um... I'm going to come back every so often to show my progress and you guys can let me know what you think. Okay, bye YouTube.